Hi guys. So you join me back on uh, Team Soul from the Horse Drink Chain channel and we're just out on another Sunday morning, early doors, it's just before 6am and we're out on a bit more of the black rat tracky. So we're doing the last part of the course today. We're actually doing an out and back run so some of it will be backwards and um, I think we're going for about two hours out, two hours back and this is lovely Port Pier and where we're starting from. Pretty lush day. Got to my turnaround point. I'm at Goran Haven, which is 11 miles, uh, start of the white rat. And um, yeah, it's uh, taken me about an hour and 48 minutes. So I thought as I'm walking up the hill, out of Goran Haven, I'd give you my five top tips for the next third of the race. So you'll know that um, we finished last week in Memagizzi, which is about 24 miles. So my first tip is that you've got kind of two key points um, in the next third, which is Memagizzi and Penchuan. So they're sort of key um, destinations to aim for. My second tip is it's a tough section. Never you see to uh, the, the finish, it's about seven miles, and it's got a lot of steps. Um, so you want to keep yourself fresh for that part of the race. Um, it's certainly tough and I don't recommend running the steps. I don't recommend running up hills. Just hike with purpose. Um, so.
Hopefully, Miss Amuka, this is the last set of steps. See those delightful buggers over there? Over here somewhere. Uh, there. Here we go. There you have it. It's your last set of steps done. Hootra, you can see it there, up into the distance. And if you've done that, that's one mile from the finish, you have completed the rat. Then that comes to my third top tip, is your energy. Don't forget to eat and drink. Um, you wanna get here, feeling like you've got stuff left in the tank but there's more to give so um I tend to I eat quite normal food really I have a couple of gels as an emergency I carry a bottle of energy drink which is active root and then I have a bottle of um just electrolytes which I use high five tabs um and so I tend to eat just sweets. I have a bag of sweets I carry. And then I take a couple of like bars, flapjack bars and things. Um, and some emergency gels and I have to say mug crew can't do more on the um, fuel stations they are spot on and I highly recommend pink chocolate pigs from my experience on the play they were my my go-to um, so yeah highly recommend these uh, so let me have number four um, Keep your wits about you on this section. There's a few areas you can go wrong um, and just be aware of turn-ins and junctions and things. They're generally quite well marked, but you can just miss them if you're out of the zone. So I'm just gonna take a minute here because this is my first um, point of advice. So you come in from Evergissi down and you can see Pentium campsite. And then you'll see this hill um, ahead of you. It's actually a lot steeper than it looks here. Now, everybody's thoughts are that, oh, let's go straight up the hill because that's gonna be the quickest route. Just need to get the gate open, just for a moment. Um, well, if you wanna save your legs for the hundreds of steps that are coming up, in the next five miles and unless you're like really really strong and yeah right fine go for it i don't advise this hill i advise get into the uh the gate here and as the little sign says we go right um so yeah head right down this track it takes you it takes you up around the edge and it's a lot more um forgiving on the legs probably a little bit more runnable to be honest um that is just gonna knacker you. So yeah, I say go right. So now approaching a point called Blackhead. Now this is one of the uh, potential places you can go wrong. So you come down and here, you can see here, the path looks like it goes that way. So we've come down here. Then you've got this big rock you want to go left. 
So we're just coming into another um, potential pitfall in terms of directions. So, and I always go wrong here. So coming down, you're about two miles from the finish and you're coming into these woods. You go down, down, down. Now you see the bench, turn left at the bench. Do not carry straight on. And that's what I always do. So don't forget, left at the bench. So after you've gone left at the bench, um, you go up this little path. And at the top of the little path, there are usually, and I'm sure they'll be there, two girls handing out cocktails. So yeah, hopefully they'll be there in view of the times and all that jazz. But um, yeah, it's good fun. And finally, if all that fails, just enjoy the views. You have an awesome, awesome piece of coastline here. Um, so just enjoy it uh, and come back hungry for more. Um, it's amazing. So yeah, that's my top tips. guys back in Porthpian so this is actually down in Porthpian village um, and that's probably about a mile maybe half a mile from the finish um, so you've got to go up and out of a hill here for the minute so that's taking me uh, just under an hour and 55 to come back um, so and that is included all my filming um, so yeah so good stuff um, if you're out there on the day, I look forward to seeing you say hi if you see me. And um, meanwhile, we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!